Welcome back to my channel today, guys. I have a special video. It is the 2021 Kia Sportage versus the 2021 Nissan Rogue, which was just redesigned, plus the 2020 Honda CRV, which has been an iconic nameplate for years, guys. So let's do this comparison. Let's show you the fronts of these vehicles and let's go around to the back there. Let's start with the front here, guys. One. All right, guys, 2021 Kia Sportage. Absolutely awesome vehicle. Let's start with the, the headlights here. So these headlights are projector beam halogen bulbs with uh, LED daytime running lights. And then you got your halogen turn signals right there. Coming across the front here, you have Tiger Sig or the Kia Signature Tiger Face Grill. Absolutely stunning vehicle there, uh, stunning grill as well. Right below that, you have a nice chrome strip. And here on this EX trim level, you actually have front sensors that will actually beep at you when you get close to an object there. You also have the fog lights here on this 2021 Kia Sportage. Under the hood, it is a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine hooked up to a six speed automatic transmission. I will put the engine specs on each one of these in the video here right now. Let's go over to the 2021 Nissan Rogue. 2021 Nissan Rogue. This vehicle was just redesigned really really nice design here guys um, this is called nissan's v motion grill uh, so you can see the, literally the v there um, led headlights here on this model uh, it does not have any fog lights though interestingly enough on this vehicle um, and so no fog lights but you do have daytime running lights uh, you have the turn signal up here on the top and then you have the led headlights right below that right here uh, nice smooth uh, transition here to the, the top there. I will also link the engine specs for this vehicle right in the description right now. Let's go over to the 2021 Honda CRV. 2021 Honda CRV. Uh, iconic nameplate for Honda for years and years. Honda sells a ton of these every single year. Uh, but let's start with the design here. So projector beam halogen balls right here. Uh, down next to that, you have your high beams there. And then actually right here, there is an LED daytime running light that would illuminate uh, during the daytime or uh, during the night there as well. Uh, coming on over here, you have Honda's uh, logo right here, big and broad, a nice broad grill here, uh, black with some chrome accents. And then right below that, you have the forward collision um, assistance uh, sensor right there uh, below that. You'll see that the little box there that's kind of colored out from the grill. Uh, down below, you have the uh, you have the blacked out uh, base there. I can't talk, guys. Sorry. Uh, and then right about down below that, you have some SUV styling as well for the vehicle. Uh, it does have fog lights down here at the bottom of this trim level. This is the EXL trim level for the 2021 Honda CRV. Let's go to the back of the vehicles, guys. I'll meet you around back. Back of the 2021 Honda CRV. This is the EX trim level with the all wheel drive system. You'll see the all wheel drive badge right there. Starting at the top here, uh, nice rear spoiler right here. And then on top you have what's called the shark fin antenna uh, for your Sirius XM, AM and FM radios there right at the top. Like I said, nice spoiler right down below here. Uh, on the side over here, you have LED uh, tail lights for the, the brake lights and the parking lights. Reverse signal right here in between. Uh, and then coming right in the middle, windshield wiper or rear wiper uh, for the back. Honda logo right down below that. And then some plastic uh, black plastic here on the bottom uh, for that SUV styling. Let's pop open the trunk real quick. Welcome to the back of the 2021 Honda CRV. An absolute ton of space back here, guys. Um, this is the biggest uh, cargo space between the three of them here. The Nissan Rogue and the Sportage have smaller cargo spaces behind uh, that second row. So if you're looking for the most cargo space, the Honda CRV is your way to go. Now, this one is equipped with a little rear sunshade here um, that you can put over top of your groceries. It also comes equipped here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little handle here. You can actually pull that handle and it will actually lower the second row seats there in the back. And it's here both for both sides. You can't see it on this side uh, for sure, but it is there. There is a nice illumination light uh, right in the back here that shows you a lot of the space. And then right down below here, you do have a spare tire underneath the back cargo area here. So like I said, tons of space in the Honda CRV. Let's go over to the Nissan Rogue. 2021 Nissan Rogue, fully redesigned Nissan Rogue. Let's start right here at the top. Again, shark fan antenna here at the top there for your AM, FM, and Sirius satellite radio. Right below that, you have a spoiler here uh, to give a little bit of aerodynamic. Uh, right below that, you have a windshield wiper for the rear here, right on the back. Down below that, you have LED uh, taillights right here on the back. Uh, reverse lights and then brake lights over here on the side too. 
This is the SV all-wheel drive trim level. Um, Nissan badge right here uh, in the middle. And then Rogue spelled right across the back there. Down below that, you have uh, a little chrome finish uh, plate down there. And then right below that, you actually have sensors for the rear. So when you're backing up, it will beep at you if you get a little bit close. All of these vehicles are equipped with backup cameras. Down below that, gray, uh, gray plastic for the SUV styling. 2021 Kia Sportage, uh, a very long running nameplate for Kia. Let's start at the top again. Antenna, shark fan antenna for AM, FM, satellite, radio. You also have the uh, rear spoiler here on the back of the SUV. Right below that, you have the uh, rear, rear wiper for the back. Down below that, you have halogen uh, tail lights here. There is an option for LED tail lights if you want to get that. Uh, you got to go up to the SX trim level. This is the EX trim level, so you'll see the EX badge right down below that. Nice key logo right in the, the middle. And then down below that, you have the black plastic chrome and then a white uh, paint. And then you also have the rear sensors here as well. So when you're backing up, it will beep at you. Let's pop the trunk open here on the back of the, the Sportage. Now, the Sportage is the smallest cargo area between the three of them. The CRV has the most, Rogue is second here, and then the Sportage is the smallest in the rear cargo area. But the, the Sportage does have a little nifty feature I'm gonna show you. So let's move these uh, carbon mats out of the way. Um, so cargo space back here. There's still a ton of cargo space back here. Don't think it's small. It's definitely got plenty of cargo space for you and your family. But there is a nice little feature. So you can actually lift this up, this little area here, and actually it goes down a level and you can actually add more cargo space to the vehicle there because it adds a little bit more cargo volume to the back here. Uh, there is spare tire down below this as well there guys. So all of them have the spare tire uh, for you. Let's go to the inside of the Nissan Rogue, show you some of the features on the inside of that and then we'll go to the uh, Sportage and then the CRV after that guys. All right guys, welcome inside the 2021 Nissan Rogue. Let's start with the top here. So right above us, there is a big panoramic sunroof with the, uh, the, the power sunshade as well. So you can cover this up or have this open for a little bit of view outside. Um, and the controls are right here for it. You can open it, shut it, all that stuff right there. Uh, down below it, you got some uh, regular lights for the inside here. Uh, you can turn them on just like that. And then right behind that, you have a little uh, sunglass holder there for you. Regular mirror uh, for the reverse mirror there, right below that. I'm gonna turn a little bit of light on in here so that you guys have a little better view of the inside of this car. Down below here, you have a touch screen uh, that is Android Auto uh, and Apple CarPlay compatible. Uh, pretty nice uh, audio controls right here that can turn on. Um, and, and you got all your settings, standard stuff. So you can uh, do Bluetooth, you can do um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This does not have navigation. Uh, let me show you one thing that, that is unique here on the uh, Rogue. It does have a 360 degree camera there, um, which the Sportage and the CRV actually do not have on these trim levels here. Uh, going down a little bit, uh, you have the manual buttons there that you can press. And then going down, down, you have the uh, dual zone climate control here um, for your vehicle. Um, and you can adjust those temperatures just like this. Um, just like that, you'll see the, the temperature changing as I move the, the dial. And like I said, you can have a different temperature on both sides. Heated steering wheel, heated seats here on this, uh, this model. Uh, three zone heated seats, traditional equipment right there. You got dual zone climate control down here at the bottom. Push button start here, USB-C, USB-A, and then 12 volt power outlet. A little storage nook down here at the bottom. And then you have two uh, cup holders here. A unique shifter that you press to park, and then if not, you can push it up to go to reverse. One down is neutral, and then drive is all the way down, uh, all the way at the bottom there. There's a little touch button on the side here that you press, and you can shift it just like that there, guys. This is hooked up to a, a continuously variable transmission. Um, the other two have traditional automatics. Uh, these are, this is a CVT. Um, electric power brake uh, right here, and then an auto hold feature as well right there. Uh, you have the uh, different drive modes here. It looks like there is Sport, Eco, um, Aldo, snow, uh, snow, and then off-road here, right down at the bottom. Um, and then it goes right on the, the controls here. So let me, uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take you guys to the steering wheel here. All right, so here's the steering wheel design. Um, it's not a full D-shaped steering wheel, but there is a little kind of d shape there at the bottom, little flat bottom there. Uh, let's come to the steering wheel here. So this is Nissan's new design. So volume up down here. Uh, this button, these kind of controls right here are actually for the screen right in the middle. So you can press over, 
up, down, um, and then back there right with this button. Um, seek track for the radio and then this button right here actually controls a few other settings um, inside this infotainment system in the middle. Right here on this side you have your cruise control and then Nissan's Pro Pilot Assist uh, button right here um, that will actually literally help you drive the vehicle. Um, you got your hang up button here and then right here is actually for the adaptive cruise control you can set your distancing uh, further or closer. Voice control here that can be hooked up to Siri. And then right here in the middle, you have tachometer here on the left-hand side, cold hot for your temperature gauges, uh, speedometer, and then fuel gauges right there. And then in the middle there, you have an instrument cluster that gives you a range of, uh, of equipment there um, that you can go through um, through there as well. So uh, digital speedometer, um, all that kind of good stuff there, guys. So there, there's tons of, of equipment in here. There's a manual mode that you can put it in to kind of design it. Down here on the, the side, uh, you have a steering wheel button here uh, that controls the steering assist, um, which will uh, go with the adaptive cruise control. And then you have the interior and uh, the interior lighting, uh, and then a power lift gate button on the back here. Coming to the side door, you have your power windows, power locks, pretty softly padded armrest right here, and then uh, right there is the mirror with the blind spot uh, detection system. And here is the view of the outside from inside the Rogue. Let me take you to the back seat of this row. All right, coming to the rear here. So this is the second row and the, the passengers for the second row. Give you a little idea of what's going on back here. Black leather in this one. Uh, there is uh, two USBs down there at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but two USBs down there at the bottom. One's a USB-C and one's a USB-A. Uh, and then rear vents back here. Uh, tr pretty traditional stuff. It does have an armrest right there as well uh, that you can pull down. Uh, but nothing, nothing too fancy. These seats do go flat so that you guys can have, um, you know, some flat cargo space there, guys. Let's go on over to the Kia Sportage. All right, guys, I wanted to show you the uh, Monroni label here, the MSRP sticker. This uh, 2021 Nissan Rogue SV all-wheel drive costs $33,230 here. Um, this doesn't look like it has uh, that much. Of, it does actually have an SV premium package, which gives you leatherette seats. Heated steering wheel, heated front seats, second row door shades, power lift gate, power um, panoramic sunroof, and roof rails. It's a $2,600 package here on the SV to make it $33,230. Let's go over to the 2021 Kia Sportage. All right, so coming over to the 2021 Kia Sportage. MSRP is, is $33,520. Um, this is the EX trim level uh, with the technology package which adds the panoramic sunroof, the leather seats, uh, the power passenger seat, the smart cruise control, the wireless charging, Uvo link, and front and rear sensors. Let's go here to the back of the Sportage. All right, so coming to the back here of the 2021 Kia Sportage. Now this EX trim level has the gray interior, nice panoramic sunroof above our head. Like I said, gray interior. Very, very nice. Coming to the back here, you got uh, big air vents here and then a fast charging USB port right here. And then a 12 volt right next to it there. Let's go up to the front of the Sportage. All right, so coming to the front of the 2021 Kia Sportage. So power seat here, all of these vehicles do a power seat, leather um, here again, the gray interior leather. Very nice design. Let's get on the inside of here of the vehicle. Nice big touch screen here for you. I'm gonna shut this door and shut the panoramic sunroof so that it's, it's not uh, intruding on our noise here. So you have the eight inch touch screen here, uh, which has navigation in this, uh, this model. Very, very nice navigation. You can touch there and then go wherever you wanna go. So navigation, 8-inch touchscreen, AM, FM, uh, satellite radio. Uh, this also has UVO link, which will hook up to your phone. You can remote start this vehicle from inside your house. It also can, uh, control the climate control. Right below it, uh, you have some glossy black finish here, a push button start here uh, for the push uh, button start. Uh, manual controls here for the radio, two knob, volume, up, down, uh, then, and then tune there for the radio. Uh, dual zone climate control features are right here for the vehicle. 
right below this you have ventilated seats, heated seats, and a heated steering wheel. Uh, right down below here, you have a 12 volt power outlet with one USB charging port for the infotainment system. You also have a charging pad right below it. Coming on down, uh, you have a traditional shifter there for the six speed automatic transmission, two big cup holders. Uh, then down below that, you have drive modes, which is uh, sport, eco, and uh, normal. Uh, and then you have your uh, downhill assist control, parking sensors, auto hold for the, the parking brake, uh, which is right here, the electric parking brake as well. And then coming down, you have a nice uh, big armrest there, very plush uh, for you and your passengers. Uh, so let's turn the vehicle on real quick. And uh, so you'll see you have a, a small screen there in the middle, uh, tachometer, uh, cooling hot, speedometer, and then uh, fuel gauge there right there for you. Uh, come to the steering wheel. You have a leather wrap steering wheel here with your uh, voice controls uh, mode for the radio there. You have your volume up down uh, and then also you have the up down mode for your radio. You have the uh, hang up and pick up button there. On the side you have the menu button right here for the center screen. You'll see right there in the middle and this button just changes the middle screen. Then you can also go up and down on that screen there. So you can go up and down just like that. Uh, you have your adaptive cruise control buttons right here, different settings for the adaptive cruise control. And then coming on the side here, you have your illumination lights for the interior, the blind spot monitoring system on and off. You can turn it on and off. And then you also have your lane departure warning. And then you can hold this to open the power lift gate in the rear. Right down next to that, you have your power windows, power locks. And then you'll see right here, you'll see the illumination for your blind spot warning system. Looking out the front, it's gotten dark since we started this video. Uh, but looking out of the front, very good view out of the front of the Sportage. Let's go to the Honda CRV. All right, so back of the Honda CRV, this vehicle stickers for 32,770. Uh, this is a 2020 Honda CRV EXL all wheel drive. Let's go to the rear here of the vehicle. Uh, this has the leather seats. Um, which are very, very nice. Let's turn a light on in here. Very, very nice leather seats here. Very good design on the seat as well from Honda. You'll see that one's folded down flat for the cargo area like we were doing in the beginning of the video. So I'll leave that like that. Nice wood trim here on the Honda CRV. Very nice design. Down here in the middle, you have a um, rear vents here for your folks. And then you have two USB fast chargers there for people in the rear of the vehicle. Let's go to the front of the vehicle. All right, so coming to the front here. Power seats on the CRV with four-way lumbar support, leather seats. Nice big armrest right there for your arms. Nice wood grain finish here on the dash. I'm going to shut this door. Let's go to the top. So right here, you don't have a panoramic sunroof. Honda really doesn't do panoramic sunroofs, but you have a traditional size sunroof uh, with a manual. Uh, shade there for to close it uh, right there in the middle is your settings for the the shade uh, or for the sunroof right below that you have a auto dimming rear view mirror and then right here in the middle let's turn this on you'll have your hazards here at the top and then you'll also have let's turn the air down a little bit uh, right below that you have your touch screen for Apple CarPlay Android auto compatibility right below that you have your dual zone climate control, heated seat controls there, um, all that good stuff. Let's go through this menu, uh, this uh, touch screen, just a hair. So really nice design, very functional design. Uh, you can go to your audio controls right there. And then there's a tune, or there's a volume knob right here. To tune it, there is no knob, and I wish Honda would put a knob, uh, but there is just the, the regular tune button right on the bottom of the screen. Uh, like I said, Apple CarPlay Android Auto compatibility right there uh, with your Bluetooth uh, as well. Coming down below that, you have your parking uh, brake here, uh, and then you also have your brake hold as well right here. It's traditional shifter right here on the column there that hooks up to your continuously variable transmission, CVT, um, which the Rogue and the CRV have. The Sportage has a traditional automatic. You have right next to it, you have your auto stop start button. You can turn it off. And then Econ, which is a gas uh, saving mode. Right below that, you have a nice storage nook here and then also a USB port that hooks up to the infotainment system. And then actually one more USB port right there as well. 
two nice big cup holders, and then a big storage area here that leads to the armrest. Really good design by Honda there. Coming over to the steering wheel, leather wrapped steering wheel here. You have your controls for the uh, the center screen, uh, or the I'm sorry, for the modes for the radio there, uh, right on this button there. Uh, volume up and down, and then you also have uh, answer hang up, uh, voice controls right there, and then this button actually controls most of the menu um, in the middle. Pretty cool uh, steering wheel there. You have over here your adaptive cruise control um, with uh, your stop and go. Uh, you also have your lane departure warning button right there. Coming on the other side, you have wood grain finish here that looks very, very nice. Um, it's not real wood, but it's, uh, it looks very, very nice. Uh, lane departure warning button here on and off. You can turn it on and off. Press and hold here to open the power lift gate. You have a traction control off button, and then you have your um, autonomous emergency braking off button there as well. Nice to have here uh, is memory seating. So if there's two folks in your family, the CRV does have memory seating. Um, and you could definitely use that if you uh, are more than one person driving and you can set your seat and it will actually um, go right back to how you had it when you were driving there. Uh, you see blind spot monitoring and then a really nice view out of the front of the CRV here, guys. Let's get out of the video and wrap this up. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video on the 2021 Kia Sportage versus 2021 Nissan Rogue um, and versus the 2020 Honda CRV. Guys, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps me out so, so much. Um, if you are interested in the Kia Sportage or the Honda CRV, I do sell those myself. Um, here at Hertrick Honda Kia in Easton, Maryland, you can give me a call at 410-822-7717. Or if you would like to uh, purchase a Nissan, uh, we do have a Nissan dealer here with our Hertrick Automobile uh, dealerships. Uh, you can contact us and I will give you the number to the Hertrick Nissan of Dover uh, to sell you guys a Nissan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next one.